Hello, it is Alex Shiotti is here for another ASMR video. Um, this one will mention eating disorder, um, bulimia, if I got that correctly. Um, it will mention throwing up, etc., stuff like that. Um, this is a, uh, basically like a part three, I guess, to the ones I've been doing with Todoroki. Um, I will be listing them as, like, part one, part two, part three, and the etc., on and on and on, so that you know what order they are meant to be in. Um, so, uh, also, I just wanted to say, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe now, and hit the like button if you like the video. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. You said in a quiet voice, okay, as you finished the rest of your lunch. You told Todoroki that you would be back. As you headed towards the bathroom, which was gender neutral, and make sure no one else was in there. You went into the stall, closing the door. Then you put your fingers into your mouth to activate your gag reflex, making yourself puke up all the food you had just ate. You finished puking up your lunch and then walked out of the stall. You noticed that a very worried Todoroki was standing by the sink. You could... He quickly hugged you. Why didn't you tell me about this, listener? You looked away from him, ashamed that he had caught you. He had told you that he'll tell Mr. Aizawa that you're not feeling well and that he will walk, back, walk you back to the dorms. Time skip when you were back in the your dormitory. Todoroki had gotten you a protein shake and asked you if you would drink it for him. You told him that you would try your best to drink the whole thing. Todoroki smiled. Okay, as long as you drink some of it. You and Todoroki just started talking about random things like school and hobbies. Then Todoroki cheerfully had said, Look, you drunk the whole thing. Great job, listener. You looked at the bottle that was empty in your hand. You would smiled and looked up at him saying, I did it! Before he could respond, your dorm door opened with all of your classmates staring there with worried faces. And they had all asked you how you were doing. You were shocked at how all of them had came here to check up on you. You told them that you were doing just fine. They all came, one by one, over to you and gave you a hug. Todoroki smiled at you, telling you that they were very worried when he had told them about how you weren't feeling all right. You told all of them how thankful you were to have them as classmates. They all smiled at what you had said, and they said that they'll leave you and Todoroki alone now. You nodded at them and told them that you would see them in class tomorrow. Todoroki had interrupted you, telling them that you will be in class in a couple days after, so he can make sure that you're doing completely okay, so that you can go back. They nodded and went back to their dorms. You and Todoroki were left alone again. You told them that you need to go back to class so that you wouldn't miss the work. You need to get better for a couple of days and relax. School can wait. Mr. Aizawa will understand, Todoroki said. Okay, so um, that's all for today's video. It was a bit short because um, I'm trying to write, trying to do schoolwork at the same time, texting my friend too, making sure they're doing okay, and um, stuff like that. So um, if you'd like to recommend any characters for me to start doing, um, listen down below. And I will also... I, might be doing um, a Nishinoya or a Asahi one in the near future, so look out for that one. Um, so uh, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys subscribed, liked the video, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye! Thank you!